Last week, the city of Alat was hit by two rockets, reported to have been fired from the Egyptian-controlled Sinai Peninsula. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told cabinet members at a weekly meeting that the terrorists responsible for firing the rockets were part of a terror cell that left the Gaza Strip to enter the Sinai to attack Israel's Red Sea Resort from there. Officials say there were no injuries in the Elad attacks as rockets landed in unoccupied areas in the southern part of the city. In the Prime Minister's cabinet address, he vowed to respond to the attacks, saying it is unacceptable that members of a terrorist cell left the Gaza and used Egypt, the Egyptian Sinai to attack Israel. Defense Minister Moshe Yahalan also briefed the cabinet on these attacks. Mohammed Zawahiri, the brother of al-Qaeda leader Ayman Zawahiri, denied that jihadist Salafists fired the missiles from the Sinai at Elat and blamed the Egyptian media for creating rumors, according to a report on Sunday in the Egyptian newspaper Al-Akram. Contrary to Israeli intelligence reports, Zawahiri continued claiming that a group of the Mujahideen in Palestine are the ones who launched the rockets at Israel and that they have the right to defend themselves at all times. Talking with Al-Hakram online, Major General Ala Ezzedin, head of Egypt's Strategic Center of the Armed Forces, officially denied that the rockets had been fired from Egypt's Sinai Peninsula and blamed Israel for the success of the attacks against Elat because Israel's Iron Dome system failed. An IDF spokesperson confirmed that the Iron Dome system was deployed outside of Elat last month. There are unconfirmed reports that the missile defense system may have malfunctioned. Others conjecture that Israel simply was not expecting an attack from the Egyptian Sinai. I'm Pam Coy, and this is Frontline Jerusalem, unfiltered and unafraid.